and now so here you go you got the um the what's it called so if you want to show all the windows you just go alt or tab so if I press alt tab for now like this it will show me all the windows that are open what the f right you got that yep and so you can change everything else if you want whatever do that if you want I'd say a regular grid so when I press alt tab they're all in a row which is nice and then virtual desktop I've set the middle button as the mouse and you can set as many as possible so I've got 3 by 2 so 6 altogether general starts with windows check for update and start hmm yeah so leave that like that and you'll be fine and one more other thing is explore.exe so explore.exe will be in windows oh is it here? it's here so you change this to um, if you've got the tutorial files windows 10 customization um, explore here we go so you've got the explore icon.exe here so what you've got to do it's dead easy open you've got to open it with user like button it says as administrator so we so run that as administrator just plug this in here <coughs> it'll be in icons so all you've got to do is this place then you go in the icon, icon group, select that one, you want to replace that. And then look for the better explorer in the better explorer folder. Just press that and you replace it. As you can see I've got this new logo here as well. And I shall do the because I disabled V start. So I'm gonna go start up. At that start up I disabled it, but I still did the initiation. So I'm gonna start it. <coughs> Here you go, look at that lovely stuff. Another thing that you could do with cursors here is you put all the arrow cursors that begin with arrow, so all of these. You put them all in the folder, so cut them. New folder, arrow, oh, put them all in there. First, actually, you have to take ownership of them all. So, take ownership. Where are you? Oh, you can, yeah, let's go Windows cursor, take ownership. Take, there we go. It should work now. And then just copy this whole folder. So, oops, from there to there. Just copy it into here. And then you get all your arrow ones and now look there's a loading bar here you can see and the last thing the first thing I got um, when I first installed Windows 10 the actual folder options you had um, the actual checkboxes in here which is pretty cool you see these checkboxes and this is in the actual build of Windows 10 that's pretty cool the only thing that's different is these icons here. I'll try and find an icon and I'll update it so you can add it and the instructions will be in the actual download. So just bear with me with that one. So just to clarify, I've changed the order of the things you have to do so it works. Mm. And I'll take it, that's that's all right. And themes, remember it's only, you copy only that Windows 10. No, all of these. You, but you install this first before copying anything into it. Right? So I'll check that. I'll change that for the video. 
um, for the download, sorry. And then you do tiny win windows and borders after that. White task screen, that's fine. And explore firm, that's fine. But I have to stress that when you're on Firefox remote and it says open not folder, you won't get in the left. So let's let's take for example file new task one browse. You, sometimes you won't get this bit here, and it'll just be this bit, and you won't know where you're going to navigate. So that's one bad thing about this. Area autocolor, that is fine. Animations, remember to copy the, the animation modder after you have changed the auth UI um, and all those files and the um, the white task pane. So after this, make sure because otherwise you'll be you'll just be replacing it back to normal and you won't get that effect. Icons that might change depending on the new build that will come out. Log on. Um, use this if it doesn't work. Um, when you we do it, you should be fine. That that screensaver. Snap. Start menu. On the start menu, basically, I don't really like restart, so I did install it, but then I changed it back. So I disabled it and start, but I've still got like the kind of skin. I'm not sure if it is, but it looks different. So I'll just leave that as that. And then start or I did I did my own thing there because it disabled V start so I could. System properties, I made I got a new logo in there, so if you want to use that and remember you've got to have it to a specific size so it's not distorted. So look, you got a perfect size there. So just edit it and have a play around with that. And task viewer, that's nice like that. You can change it, can alt tab to whatever settings you like and last but not least start with the layers change everything around so if you're starting up the computer and it keeps coming up with the user access control prompt then what you've got to do is go to website let's start up the browser this will be in a notepad document it's called that Microsoft Application Converted Abilities Tool right, let's download that save it this will be in the downloads Look at that. Downloads. Here we go. So this is the setup for this. Next. I accept. There we go. So what you've got to do is click fix. We've got to find the application, so let's know it's all there. Let's go aqua snap. And no, wait, wait. Make this bigger. <coughs> fix aqua snap. Mm. Unknown yet. File location. Move to the point. Just type it in. Um, See, and then so yep, there we go. You're looking for run as invo invoker. It's going to be down here. That one. Now test run. So basically, it's run as without the UAC command thing. So that's that's done like that. Click next. So when you're sure it's checked, so go down and find this one here. Run as invoker. It's there. Click next. Um, click, click auto generate, finish, and there you go. There's your new database. So remember to um, for 64 bit, you can't do it in 32. So what you've got to do is find, open the 64 bit version of this and do the same thing. So you know what to do. But once you've done that, you can just save this registry. So you just go save. And you save it in program files or something. But once you save it, you can't change it. You can just uninstall it and redo it all. Which I'd advise. And thanks for watching my video. Please comment on Skype. This took me ages. I would love it if I could share this as well because it took so much time and effort making all